Chris, thank you for coming into my life with the help of our friends. You and I met at the exact moment in our life when we were supposed to, and you were absolutely worth the wait. Before you, I was a man, albeit a shell of a man, with a very withered and wounded heart. It was your unconditional love that has helped to open me up, that has helped to heal me. And I stand here today to give you that new heart. Friends, let me talk to y'all for just a minute. All of you are here because you are special to them. You are in this circle that is intentional, that you are providing the love that surrounds and will bless Chris and Blair. And so I ask all of you today that if you will be there to nurture, to love, to help them in their ups and downs, their hard times and their celebrations. If you will agree to do that, would you please stand if you are able? And Chris and Blair, I want you to take just a second and look. This people and this circle of love that have all stood for both of you, this is a gift. Don't ever forget it. Chris, thank you for pursuing Blair. And Blair, thank you for opening your heart to Chris. There's such a uniqueness in the world, right? A, a uniqueness in that everyone is different. And, and we're all, we all have our own ideas and thoughts, and you should respect that and honor those kind of things because everyone's different. That's what makes us all collectively a great community. And this room is a great example of that. Right? We're a blend of all walks of life and nothing is better because at the end of the day, we're all here to celebrate love. As your wife, I vow to put us first and make sure that we constantly work to grow together. I vow to comfort and encourage you. I vow to love your dad jokes, even though they're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the first day of the rest of our lives together, and the best times are yet to come. The best memories are yet to be made. I love you, Blair. I love you. Thank you for loving me for who I am, because that's a tall order. I promise to walk by your side. I promise to love you, to encourage you and all that you do. But most important, I will fight. I will fight for you. I will fight for our family, our marriage, and for us. Everything I am, everything I have, my heart, my soul, my being, I give this to you. And friends, now I have the honor of introducing Mr. and Mrs. Chris Woodruff. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Wait. And together, on three, we're going to hit them with a group Mazel Tov. Ready? One, two, three. Mazel Tov. You may now kiss as husband and wife. So I have about 14 more thank yous. And it will be done by 10 o'clock, I promise. Blair and Chris, to a magical marriage filled with true love, real romance, deep friendship, a true partnership, and fun every day. Every day. As mother of the groom, I think we probably need to start a new tradition because we have things to say too. And, um, and the one thing I want to say is 
How many times have mothers of the groom wanted to have an opportunity to say thank you to their bride's parents? Michelle and Ian have done an amazing job. Blair Pesses is the closest thing to perfection I have ever seen. that my dad would be so proud. He would look out here and he would say, wait, can I have a dance with the bride? Cause she's a cutie. It truly is wonderful when you can see the love, the joy in your family and your friends. So cheers. It all